Hey folks, uh, welcome to this uh, video episode for the blog. Uh, now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm uh, something of a horror fan and uh, if you're a horror fan in India and uh, especially if you grew up in the 80s, then there's no way that you hadn't watched at least some of the films that were made by the Ramsey family. And uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, one of those films, which is uh, Virana. So, um, Virana was a film that came a few years later uh, after they put out Purana Mandir, which was the first uh, true blue creature feature they made. And, uh, you know, it was a huge hit in its time and uh, it made a monster star out of uh, Anirudh Agarwal, who played the monster Samri in that one. So, um, Virana is an interesting counterpoint to that in that uh, the the monster character here, uh, which is also you could say the lead character, is uh, actually that of a woman. So here the uh, monster is played by uh, Yasmin and uh, uh, the subtitle for the film says Vengeance uh, of the Vampire, but uh, you know the character Yasmin plays is not really that of a vampire. Um, it's really more uh, a sort of witch, reminiscent of how the Hammer films would begin with a very explosive prologue. Uh, the Ramses follow the same formula. So you have a, you know, a very action-packed uh, beginning to the film in which uh, an evil witch, uh, who after she seduces men and then she converts to monster form and kills them. Uh, she is, uh, so she's killed at the beginning of the film. But uh, like with any horror film, uh, evil never really dies. So you have the spirit of Yasmin being uh, resurrected by her uh, acolytes. And uh, she possesses the body of the young daughter of uh, the person that killed her. So uh, this daughter, she grows up uh, to be a kind of succubus-like character in that uh, she's very beautiful, she's very glamorous and uh, all the men around uh, eye her with lust and uh, she uses that uh, to lure them, to seduce them and uh, once she's done seducing them, she converts to her monster form and does away with them. So uh, that's the basic premise of Virana and how she um, finally meets her comeuppance. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a pretty damn good uh, fun exploitation horror film. What's interesting here is that the actress who played Yasmin, uh, she's also called Yasmin, uh, and uh, she was never known for any other film that she did. So uh, she's uh, uh, sort of permanently associated with the part that she did in uh, Pirana, and uh, to be sure, she does a pretty bang up job here. Uh, you know, I mean, Indian cinema uh, compared to, say, Hollywood or what you've seen in, uh, say, the Hong Kong horror cinema is uh, rather prudish. I mean, the amount of uh, uh, gore that you see, the amount of sleazy content that you see is a lot more, uh, lot more restricted, a lot more chaste. But uh, within the boundaries of what was permissible by the censors, uh, I mean, she, this is a pretty racy kind of film. Uh, at the time of release, uh, I mean, it had a very troubled release, uh, obviously because of the uh, the nature of the horror that you have this uh, seductive woman who's also a monster killer. Uh, the censor board found it uh, very difficult to digest and uh, the Indian censor board, uh, at least at that time, was a pretty arbitrary kind of beast. And uh, the film endured, uh, you know, more than 40 cuts before it was finally allowed to be released with an adults-only certificate. And the other thing is that, uh, you know, the Ramses were always a kind of uh, low-budget, uh, independent production house. You couldn't expect them to, uh, you know, store their film elements, to store the deleted scenes for their movies and... So while it would be a, you know, a fantastic dream to be able to watch an uncut or a director's cut version of this movie, um, unfortunately that is uh, not even remotely possible. Uh, but what's here is uh, pretty damn fun. Indian movies have generally had pretty wretched releases on home video. Uh, 
uh, especially horror films, the low budget horror films, the kind that Ram says made. So uh, it was a wonderful surprise when many years ago, uh, Mondo Macabro uh, started putting out uh, some of the Ramsey movies on their Bollywood horror collection sets. So they uh, put out some three volumes and each volume contained uh, two films made by the Ramseys. Of course, uh, this presentation of the film is uh, not by any means pristine. It's not some home theater demo showcase, but uh, for the time, it was the best looking presentation of the film and I was really happy to have it. Now there's uh, even better news for fans of Indian horror because uh, Mondo Macabro is now going to put out a high definition Blu-ray box set of uh, selected films from the Ramsey family and Virana is going to be one of them. So that's one box set I'm really excited for and uh, I'm going to pre-order the hell out of it. Uh, so while Virana was uh, heavily inspired by the formula the Ramses had come up with after Purana Mandir, uh, it is also owes a lot of debt to this film called Mausoleum. Mausoleum came out uh, sometime in uh, 1982 and uh, it starred uh, Bobby Bressy, uh, who was a former Playboy bunny and had done some... Um, she had done some TV work and uh, I think Mausoleum was her first uh, feature film. Uh, and uh, yeah, she does a pretty bang up job with the part. I mean, she throws her all into it. So there are a lot of similarities between uh, Virana and Mausoleum. In um, both of them, the lead character as a kid is uh, possessed by the spirit uh, of a demon or a witch. Um, even the depiction of the possession is uh, pretty similar across the films. Um, as an adult, uh, they grow up into these lovely women who have a darker side. Uh, they seduce men with their very ample charms. And uh, these poor guys get it uh, pretty gruesomely. Uh, both of them have a scene uh, in which the uh, character undergoes uh, hypnosis by a psychiatrist and while they are under hypnosis, the, their demonic side is uh, uncovered uh, and the results are uh, pretty horrific. I mean, you can definitely say that uh, Mausoleum was somewhere in the back of the mind of the Ramses when they were making Virana. But it's not a slavish copy. They've Indianized it quite well. Virana is quite an energetic film. It's, uh, it's quite good looking. Uh, you know, in terms of the sets and the cinematography. I mean, you have to, of course, remember that it, it was a pretty low budget film by mainstream Bollywood standards, uh, but they do a pretty bang up job. And uh, the end result is a very entertaining film. And it's, it's, it's going to be great to be able to finally see this movie um, in all its uh, HD glory. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And uh, especially for people uh, living in India, there's a really nice surprise uh, this weekend, uh, October 29th. There's going to be a screening of the restoration done by Mondo Macabro for Virana. So you have a 2K Restored Master, which is going to be screened in Bangalore. So if you can make it, uh, to the screening you definitely should it's going to be a fun time see ya